Hello everyone, hope you're all well. Okay then, I think what I'll do today is, I might just finish up all the content today basically. Um, so if you look in your booklets, then the thing you need to do next on Nero after the Great Fire is basically the conspiracy under Piso, or Piso, as you say his name. Okay, and you need to use quite a lot of Tacitus for this. So it tells you um, in the thing to use page 120 onwards of the source booklet. There are a couple of think questions um, splattered through there as well, thinking about the different reasons people may have had to want to get rid of Nero. Um, and then finally, there's this table on how serious do you think the Piso conspiracy was? Um, so you need to think, you need to think about, you know, what I would say it was a serious challenge. So perhaps think about who was involved, um, perhaps the number of executions following the uh, conspiracy might suggest it was quite serious etc etc and what might suggest it wasn't a serious challenge so you know why did Nero survive it uh, was it a fairly easy survival for Nero were there some fundamental weaknesses amongst the conspirators that type of stuff so if you can do that first of all that would be great there's then this page uh, called other opponents of Nero and you have to use the Alston book I will scan it or take photos of the pages and I'll send them out for you so you can get those done and then the final bit we need to do uh, regarding um, Nero is basically his downfall. Uh, the Vindex Rebellion and the death of Nero. So uh, you've basically got um, this first page where you have to use uh, Dio from your source booklets uh, to find out who Vindex was and how does Dio describe him. Um, according to the speech which Vindex makes, what crimes had Nero allegedly committed? There's then this coin that you need to annotate as well, which I think is explained. I think the test book explains that coin. So I have a quick look in there. And then what you need to do is there's this table which has been split in half. On one half um, is Dio's account, and on the second half is Tacitus' account. And rather stupidly, I haven't put on um, whose is who, or have I? Oh, I have done. Yep, so I've been a bit stupid. So on the left hand side is Dio Cassius's view and on the right hand side it's Suetonius. Now what I would have done in class is got half of you to look at Dio, half of you to look at Suetonius, fill in your heart and then chat about them. Obviously we can't do that unless you want to do it over some electronic means or something. But read Dio's account and fill in that half of the table. Fill in Suetonius' account, fill in his half of the table and think about how are they similar and how are they different in kind of their explanations and perhaps why they might have some similarities and differences. We can't use Tacitus for this very end bit of Nero because Tacitus' account ends with the Piso conspiracy. This bit is actually missing. Okay, and that should then hopefully take us up to the end of Nero. And again, when you're doing the rebellion, um, again, think about those questions that cover the entire period. You might get one, you know, to what extent did the Julio-Claudians face significant opposition or something of that nature. Uh, obviously, the Piso conspiracy is important for that. So use your kind of um, thinking process to think, well, if I'd ask a general question about conspiracies under the Julio-Claudians, um, are there any similarities between this uprising and any other conspiracies? Are there any differences? Are there any similar reasons as to why each of these succeeded or failed? Okay, I know I promised you as well a Kahoot, which I haven't done, so apologies for that. Um, if I get a chance, I might make it tonight, if you like, and then you can have a look through the weekend. Okay, so um, what I'll do, I'll scan those bits from the Alston book. If you get all that done, um, if you get stuck in any of this stuff, send me an email early next week and I can go over it with you. Uh, but yeah, content's done.